519 at AM 800 CKLW. I'm Melanie DeVoe. Welcome back to Windsor Now. Well, you know, bartending is no longer just knowing how to put the precise amount of head on a beer or knowing how to properly mix a rum and coke. There's a lot more to it if you want to be really good. And it's called extreme bartending. And here to tell us about it is Scott Young, owner of Bar Smart, the performance bartending company. Hi, Scott. How you doing, Melanie? Good. I understand you're in Windsor uh, yesterday and today, and you're actually putting on a seminar. Yes, ma'am. What is extreme bartending? Well, it's serving drinks with style. Uh, there's so much more that's possible than just taking an order and giving somebody a rum and coke. Uh, what we really focus on is having a little fun behind the bar and to give people a reason to come to that bar, stay a little longer, and walk away thinking about what a great time they had. Why did you start this company? Well, it really wasn't there when I wanted it. Uh, I wanted to be a, a great bartender and there's no one there to help me when I wanted it. So um, when I started to have some skills, people wanted to wanted me to train them. So I started that uh, in the beginning and uh, went across Canada, and it just really mushroomed from there. Now, you actually teach 57 performance moves? We do in the first two-day seminar, yes. And what are some of those moves? Well, a lot of them are just very descriptive. We try to stay away from, like, fancy words because uh, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But we start out with, uh, you know, with limes and with, uh, with straws and with stainlesses, and we get into, like, the full bottles and the beer bottles. And really, you should be able to do something cool with everything. And does a lot of it, you know, and I know you, you always get this comparison, and I apologize, but it's the only thing I have to draw from. I saw the movie Cocktail. Right. Is, is that what it is? Well, you know, I'm not as cute as Tom, but I'm taller. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw a picture. You're not so bad, Scott. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, so you say nice things. Now, does this, this has to improve the bartender's tips. It has to improve the bartender's popularity. Sure. I think if you do it properly, everybody wins, and that's the point. That's why we're still in business after seven years. Uh, I mean, we have a, a video training series that we sell all over the world from our website. Um, we have these, these training seminars. We've just filmed another nine videos, and it's all focusing on taking care of the customer. And if you do it properly, the bar wins because they're attracting more people to their bar. Again, they're staying longer. They're spending more money, and uh, they're walking away talking about what a great time that they had. I'm going to guess, though, that it's not necessarily for every type of bar? Certainly not. I mean, say, I'd say like a, like a fine dining restaurant. Well, no, not at all. But, you know, most bars that are around today are really the focal point of the attention. Um, it's no longer people just want a drink. It's, uh, it's part of the entertainment. You know, so it gives people a reason to interact with the customers a little bit more. What kind of bartenders have you found are coming out to your seminars? Uh, well, we get people from all over. We get uh, people from who are just beginning, who have never bartended before, uh, who want to get a leg up on that competition, because it's tough to get a good job out there. Um, on the other hand, we get people who have been in it for a while, and they're a little bit bored with just the regular bartending, so they want to really improve their, their skills or their style and uh, make more of a reputation, because everybody wants to make more money. Not, you mentioned tips earlier, and if you do it properly, I think generally people are going to thank you for going out of your way to, to, you know, to give them a great experience. There is a lot of money to be made in bartending, isn't there? Well, sure, if you do it right. I think, um, you know, also there's more than just money. There's, there's French benefits. Uh, you know, you're able to travel to a skill you could take anywhere in the world. Um, you know, and also there's a little bit of, uh, uh, I guess, prestige with it in the sense that, you know, everybody wants to be a bartender's friend. Right, and that's yes. great. I mean, how many how many occupations do you know that people will come and give you money and thank you for it and walk away thinking that hey, I want to be that guy's friend? Not mine, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, you also, though, what I really liked when I was reading through this stuff is that you you talk to the bartenders about how important it is to be educated on the laws, not right. to overserve all that sort of stuff, right? Definitely. Um, bottom line is that it's no longer an industry where you can just say, "I just work here anymore." The bartender, as well as the bar, is liable for over service, and that's a that's a big dangerous thing. And so Somebody's going to be made a scapegoat one of these days. I don't want it to be any of my students. Well, no kidding. We've already seen some lawsuits and some charges stem from that sort of thing. It's frightening. It is frightening, and it's getting worse all the time. So it just starts out with, I think, people care enough to think about how to do their job better, and they're going to start asking questions, and that's kind of what we want to do. We just want to get people, you know, thinking about doing their job better. You know, we're not the best bartenders in the world, and, you know, we, you know how, what is that anyway? We don't really know. But we want to spread ideas, motivate people to be better behind the bar, and have more fun. How many glasses and bottles do you figure are broken during the training? Four. Four? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that you're using plastic when you're teaching the seminar. Yeah, when we teach, we, we start out with plastic bottles that we sell. Uh, it's a great uh, practice thing. We start with, uh, with stainlesses and limes and straws to begin with. Um, but it's a safety thing. Now, of course, later on, we want you to be you know, doing things reality. Because that's the bottom line. You have to be able to do this in your bar in an everyday situation where you're not spilling. 
right? You're not dropping, you're not breaking, you're not taking forever to make a drink. You know, this is a business tool, and if you use it properly, everybody wins. But if you don't, well, you can make a bad reputation for yourself as well. And no unfortunately, kidding. there are people out there who have done that, which is sort of our challenge. I would imagine you have to be pretty coordinated. Well, you know, you got you got to pray a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you got good hand-eye coordination, that's going to help. But, you know, you'd be surprised at how many really simple things that there are that are no risk. Uh, I'll give you, for example, shameless plug for our videos, but our first video has 80 moves on there that are totally risk-free, that a bar manager can never have a problem with you doing, like lemons and straws and, and uh, little glassware moves. And, and that's the whole thing, that it is good business if you do it properly. But it's only fun till someone loses an eye. <laughs> yeah, safety first, definitely. Now, I know you do bartending competitions as well. I understand we have one coming up in our area in May. Yes, actually, we have probably possibly two one coming up. Uh, oh, one okay. is going to be uh, on May 30th, uh, which is going to be at Casey's. Uh, you can contact Dave White there. Uh, he's one of the organizers there. Dave White? Yeah, Dave White. Dave White, former producer of this very show. Exactly. <laughs> and he's, he's funny. He's hilarious. He's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's going uh, to be running that, and I'm trying to convince him to be the MC because he is so entertaining. Oh, he'd be good. Yeah, but uh, so that's May 30th at Casey's. Also, there's another one probably coming up later in the summer at the residence, which is where uh, we did the uh, did the uh, the training today. And you guys, you guys are great, so you got to come down and check out them. We only have a few seconds left, but Shea Carla, you're involved with that new show, right? I'm sorry? Are you involved with that new show, Shea Carla? Oh, that one. No, we uh, actually we sent him some people to get on there, but uh, we heard that's going quite well. It's going to really focus on uh, on bartending. Well, that's good because, yeah, it'll bring more attention to it and to the talents and all that sort of thing. Exactly. Well, fantastic. This sounds like a whole lot of fun, and I'll look forward to the competition in May. Thanks, Scott. Thank you very much. Take if you care. Have any more information, just check out our website, extremebartending.com. Extremebartending.com. You got it. Thank, Thank you. Nice lady. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> nice lady. Scott Young, owner of Bar Smart, the performance bartending company. 526 at AM 800. CKLW.